Hey fam, Chi Chi here. Today I'm going to be giving you my perspective and a live demo using the brand new Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Powder Foundation and the Gloss Balm Cream. I picked up the shade 385. That is my normal shade in the liquid uh, foundations. So I just... I just went with 385 in the powder. Now I have seen a couple of reviews and some of them have said that the powder is a little bit darker than the foundation. We'll discover everything that we need to, but here is the packaging. It's right in line with everything else. You have your mirror, the powder, then when you flip it up, you have, I don't wanna say it's a mirror, but it's kind of a mirror. Like you can see yourself in it, it's reflective boom and then you have a sponge i mean it's a cute little compact i will say that it's cute it's cute let's just get a quick little swatch on the face so let's pick some up i mean that looks pretty damn good for me <laughs> do y'all even I think we I think my foundation twins we might be able to work with it but we're gonna do the whole face but swatch wise it's not looking too bad something to remember when you're doing a powder only foundation routine is that you need to make sure that your skin is prepped you don't want to be walking around with dry skin because it's not cute I've already did my skin prep and I'm just gonna put some Fenty uh, primer on my face because I like a little, you know, little smoothies. I really just wanted to finish up the last of it. <laughs> so, perfect time to do it. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Concealer in 370. Let's just do a little quick little shopping. So this retails for $36. Yeah, $36. And you get 9.1 grams of product, which is 0.32 ounces which I think is pretty decent. I have to check my other powders. But of course it comes in 50 shades. You know that's standard for the Fenty. Some of the claims on the box, it says it's medium to full coverage. We will be testing that. And light as air, flawless filter effect. Hopefully it'll give me some sort of blurring, even like the cashew powder. Ooh, I can use the cashew powder. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of cashew, just set that right under the eye, and basically all the places that I put that concealer. I'm just use a sponge just to see how it covers up these dark spots on my face, cause y'all know I got dark spots, so. It is covering it up but I can still see them. So, hmm. Actually, yeah. Medium to full, I would definitely say yes. That is correct. <laughs> That's a good claim. I'm just gonna do this side with the, with the sponge that it came with. Normally, I would not apply foundation like this because to me, a sponge like this is better for touch-ups, you know, not to actually apply. So that's how I was looking. I'm just saying, you look pretty good. This is without anything. This is with powder. It looks damn good. I see a little bit of blurring, which is always nice. Yeah, and it definitely covered up my dark spots. So right now I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it at all. Um, let's try a brush. So depending on what type of level of coverage you're looking for, will depend on your brush. I think that a full coverage look, you're gonna want something a little bit more dense, but still a little bit movable. But if you want something very light, you wanna go with something very loosely packed. So. You can see how the brushes look and it'll give you a different type of vibe. So, because I wanna go full coverage, because if I'm doing just powder foundation, I wanna go full coverage. So, this is the Morphe G36, in case you're curious. I'm gonna pick some up and just press it into the skin. 
Okay. I'm not mad at this at all. So for my foundation twins, what's up? Mosquito and all them. I think we can go for 385. Which is good because when we first got the liquid foundation, we didn't have a shade. So the fact that this is matching me, I'm okay with. <laughs> so 385, if you already are that shade, you're you're good. Because I was gonna pick up 370 just in case because that does have a neutral warm undertone. That's our community over here. We're, we're a bunch of neutral warms over here. The fact that it's matching my forehead, it's matching my chest, I'm happy with. A big test will be once A, I start getting oily, and B, when I, you know, cause right now I, I look good. I really do like this, I really do like this. Let's just throw on some, bronzer real quick caramel cutie and whatever was on this brush just to warm up the face quick little, little little dimension what do you guys think let's see how it looks when some liquid hits it because that's a, that's a different story I wanted to make sure I put a decent amount of uh, spray on just to see how it would react because I want to see if it gets a little bit darker as we sit here and chat it up. So definitely once you add uh, some sort of setting spray, because you honestly, you need to add a little bit of moisture, especially when you're wearing all powder. It really does look like skin. It truly does. I'm very happy. <laughs> wow, wow, and y'all see. I match, that's gorgeous. As far as texture goes, cause you know I got texture on my cheeks. Y'all already know my philosophy. You really can't cover up texture like that. But I feel like on camera, it still looks really good. If I'm just doing quick weekend, Sunday morning, let me go get a bagel, run some errands type joint. So I'ma just let, I'ma, we gonna sit and marinate in this while we talk about this cream lip gloss. I'm not a huge fan of lip gloss, but I love a opaque gloss. So this is in the shade Fenty Glow. Um, some of the other colors just wasn't really speaking to me. I was like, you can't go wrong with Fenty Glow, at least for the lip products. I don't smell anything. It doesn't smell like the Fenty Gloss Balms. Oh, that sucks, but here it is. It's the same sort of doe foot applicator that you see on the gloss bombs and these retail for $19. So this is with one application, not sticky, but I could build it up a little bit with the color. So let's dip back into it <laughs> with a second layer. I do like the cream a whole lot better. I feel like an adult when I have an opaque gloss versus something glittery and all that stuff. It's like, come on, the jig is up girl. So this is the original in the tube they kind of favor each other, but not, but yeah. Here is the Fenty Glow Gloss, and this one is the Cream Fenty Glow. So they do kind of resemble each other. That was something I was a little bit nervous about. The actual cream is a hair darker than the Gloss Balm. I mean, since we're here, if you like something super, super glossy, let's just go ahead and throw a Gloss Balm on it. Yeah. See, why didn't she put the same scent in here? Like, come on fam. If you like something a little bit more glossy, I definitely would top it off with the Fenty Glow uh, Gloss Balm and you're good to go. But I like the opaqueness of the cream gloss. I think I will be making the transition to the cream glosses. I just need to find a color that hits. But I was gonna pick up Mauve Wives because that did look good. And fruit snacks, it looks nice, but it's something about a glossy red. I just feel like I don't have the, the lips <laughs> to pull it off. So that's why I don't really gravitate towards a glossy red lip, even though I love a good red lip. 
I'm weird, I know, that's why you're here. I'm gonna keep this on for a, a, a little bit and see how she starts marinating all up in the face, but right now, it's gonna look pretty good, pretty good. It's still giving me like a soft matte look. I do see a couple of dark spots peeking through, but when it comes to powder foundation on its own, I'm okay with that. So we're gonna see if it lifts off a little bit, you know, things like that. So give me some, give me some time through the magic of editing. Back like I never left. So my skin is being a lived in and all that stuff. So let's start off with the cream gloss. I really do like it. it obviously it has worn off. Uh, it's been about three or four hours right now. So that's expected, you know, girl gets a little thirsty. Love the color. I'm glad it doesn't have an ounce of shimmer in it. So Fenty Glow, I do like it. I think it's a beautiful natural color. Out of all five of them, this is the one I would definitely say pick up if you are interested in it. I do want them to come out with some tan colors because those, those other ones just pull a little too orange and I need to bring it back to some beige tan colors. But this one right here, I do like. Now let's get into the star of the show, which is the powder foundation. I'm looking pretty good for four hours of wear. So of course I am combo oily skin. So my T-zone is going to be oily. So I'm starting to see a little bit of oil break through the normal places that it would, but I'm not going to count any points against it because that's what skin does. <laughs> it starts to look good. It does look a lot more light skin because my oils are breaking through. I didn't sweat, so I can't tell you if it's like transfer proof or anything like that or I didn't wear a mask because I was legit inside. I don't look cakey. My pores, to me, they do look blurred. Texture, that's subjective. From a distance, I look very airbrushed. Up close, of course I'm gonna see my own texture. That's how skin works. I don't see any patchiness or cakiness. So I'm happy about that. I think those are the main things you kinda wanna look, at for, uh, look out for because if things are getting cakey or you know big patches missing in everywhere, that's a sign for concern but overall it is looking good now while I was away I did do a couple of swatches of the liquids and the powder foundations because I know there was a lot of talk as far as oh what's the difference in the color like how deep it may go liquid up top powder right here so once it is completely dried down they do look pretty much alike but in person I will say the liquid does show up a little bit more neutral than the powder does powder has a little bit more warmth to it but it's not something that's going to change your foundation now I will be trying it on with the liquid foundation in another video but from what I can tell it's a good match foundation twins we good over here if I didn't sit here and put it on I would have known that I had foundation on to be honest with you the powder isn't super dry and that's what I really do like about the soft matte line because it's just your skin a little bit better but a little bit more mattifying now for my dry babes would you like this you could definitely use this however whether you're dry oily normal I don't care what type of skin type you do have you need to have a very good skincare routine in place, especially if you have dry skin. You want to make sure that your your base is nicely hydrated. I already know because I have oily uh, oilier skin type, I know that my oils will, you know, break through a little bit. However, I have been really like consistent with my skincare routine. My oils hasn't broken down as quickly through my makeup so no matter what skin type you guys have make sure you have a skincare routine a very hydrating one at that too I'm gonna be rocking with this powder if 385 is your winter shade just go ahead pick up the 385 in the powder I think you won't be disappointed 
because I clearly am not disappointed either. So check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one. Stay comfy guys. Bye.